Wednesday, November 9th, and it is the first day of training. It is currently 4.39, so in a rush to the airport, gotta do my hair and my lipstick still, but I will see you guys soon. day probably of my life I woke up at 3 a.m. so I had one hour of sleep and then I had to make my plane flight that was at 6 a.m. got to the airport you know flew to Dallas once I got here I I don't even remember it was so long ago it feels so long ago oh I met up with some people actually I was in the bathroom getting my bag or I I wasn't in the bathroom getting my bags. I was a baggage claim getting my bags. And I ran into some girls that I knew from my interview. We were like, all right, let's find a shuttle together. Made some friends, that was the first thing I did. And it's funny because I, for some reason, didn't think that I was gonna make any friends. I know I'm a very social person, and like I make friends easily, but for some reason, I just didn't think I was gonna make any friends. I know that's not, <laughs> it's like not very realistic. But anyway, so I did make some friends. We all navigated the shuttle together, got to the training center, checked in, got some lunch, did our uniform fitting. My pro tip is that when you go to your uniform fitting on your first day of training, get there early. You know, mine was at 2.30 and it was 2.20 and they were already letting people go for the three o'clock appointments. You need to do a consultation and a uniform fitting. So we did all of that, got that squared away, tried on the uniforms. It was very, very surreal. I was like, there's just no way that I'm wearing this uniform right now. Like there's just no way that this is me. Wow, like why did nobody tell me that? that you could just see the tabletop the whole time. This is way better. All right, so anyways, the food is really good. The food is actually very good. I had a veggie burger with sweet potato fries for lunch, and then for dinner I had a salad with some chicken and some sushi. Do you like the red lip? I don't know if I like it. But today people were like, oh, it, it really suits you. I don't know, I think I look kind of like Carla Deville, but. That's just me. Good morning, everybody. I am running late per usual, so I'm gonna have to talk to you when I'm back tonight. It is 6.25, the bus leaves in five minutes, so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys at like 7 or 7.30 when I'm home. I am finally back from day two. The days are very, very long. I feel like I've been here for at least a week and it's only been two days, so. I wonder how I'm gonna feel by the end of this. We got picked up at like 6.30 this morning, as you saw, obviously, from me rushing out the door. It's like a big group conference room situation this morning. We did base bidding, so I bid for Dallas as my first choice, and then Miami as my second choice, so we'll see which one I get. You actually rank all of the bases, so whatever bases are available for your class, if you're going to training, you rank all of them. It could be three bases offered, it could be six bases offered, it just really depends on what's open. So we had six bases open, so I had to rank all six bases. I heard usually they let you know during the third week of training. So I've got a little while to wait before I figure out what my base is. So after we finished up with everything in the conference room, it was really just like orientation type things. Everything was really interesting. The videos were really cool. I really, actually I really enjoyed today. Today was like a good, a good day. Then we went to our classrooms and we learned how to use all of the technology that's provided for us um, during training. Yeah, we just kind of did the get to know you today. In our class, I'm in 2229 Sapphire. There's a Ruby in a Sapphire class. We had to get split up. The class as a whole, there's like 112 people. So expect for that to happen if you come to training because I think that that's like a pretty common thing that they do is like split people into two groups. And then we got dinner and I got a taco bowl. Just went and got food and then came right back to the hotel. Got this taco bowl. Uh, I can't speak right now. My brain is like, I've only had like seven hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep total over the past two days. So that's where I'm at right now. Oh, and I got some, this cute little cantaloupe. But anyways, I am going to start winding down. Who have I become? Brighter winding down at 6.15? It's just like ridiculous. Oh, I didn't even explain. We have web-based modules every night, pretty much every single night to do. I'm pretty caught up, so I did three before I came, and then I think I just have some forms to fill out, and then one module to do 
tonight, which is not too bad. And now I'm like, all right, I gotta take some good notes for the first test, gotta get ahead on my studying so that I can just kill the first test because I really, really don't wanna have to take any retakes. If I have to use retake, I'm gonna be really stressed out. Anyways, I am gonna start winding down and I will see you guys in the morning. Hello, everybody. It is day three. I think it's day three. But today was actually the best day that I've had so far. Training is training is really fun. Like I have met so many friends and just had so much fun like hanging out with people. Granted, we don't have a lot of like studying to do right now so it's a lot of like chit chat having fun getting to know people so i'm sure when we actually have to start studying it it'll be a little less of be happy chatty all the time because we're gonna have to like get down to business today was just so fun we went on a tour of the training center look at these flyways i don't know about that then we did a tour of the flight museum and then did some more like fluffy things nothing like getting into the material quite yet. I think we're gonna start kind of doing a basic overview of that tomorrow. It is only 5.30 and I just got back, so one of the shorter days. I do have a long training module to do tonight. I think it's like two hours long. So I'm gonna go do that. The bus leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know if I'll see y'all before then because I will probably be rushing. I'm getting better at being on time. I have been on time to everything so far. I've been early to everything so far. And I'm working on moving being five minutes early to being 10 minutes early. If you know me, you should be really impressed by that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go do my homework and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Hi, I know that we haven't talked in a really long time. I'm very sorry. I probably sound so much better now though. I don't know if you could tell from the previous videos, but I, had such a bad like sinus infection i was not feeling well now i'm way more myself it's actually thursday so i have been here since last wednesday i have the first week complete this is kind of a wrap up of the first week video i'm sorry that i can't show anything other than me really just sitting here and talking to y'all there will be a few clips that i know i can put in as training goes on like i know i'm allowed to show you guys certain things that aren't security sensitive. I just can't go too in depth with everything that we're doing. So the last few days got pretty serious. We had a three hour long module that actually was a six hour long module. And then the next day we had a two hour long module and it's only gonna keep going from here. So I just was like trying to recover. I would come home from these long days of training and just immediately want to get in my bed and sleep so i was just trying to sleep as much as i could yesterday i had a day off and i slept in then i went to target and the training center to have lunch but at target i just got like a ton of snacks one tip i guess would be if you come to training try to find a friend that has a car don't become friends with people just because they have a car but it's nice if you have a friend that has a car because then they can take you to like target or to get coffee or to the training center so that's kind of what i did yesterday we have our first test on friday so today i've just been cracking down studying making note cards looking over my modules the first test is so much information prepare yourself for that now i'm going into week two we have five days of class and then two days off again which is super nice but i have three exams this week they usually only give you the schedule the week before it happens also they don't want to overload you with too much information so usually you'll get your schedule for the week on tuesday this is just how ours is running also i don't know if the 2023 classes are gonna have wednesdays and thursdays off but as of now we have wednesdays and thursdays off i have not gone out my advice would be to not go out the first week because you don't have a lot to do so it's like you might want to go out but you're gonna want to sleep i'm in 22 29 there's people staying here from 22 27 and they said that weeks two and three are brutal rest the first week as much as you can and i can tell you from experience i was exhausted the first week everybody is sick not like 
you know, the flu or COVID or anything. Everyone's just kind of getting a cold, like everyone's sneezing and congested and just from being around each other, having no sleep. Get as much rest the first week as you can. You just don't want to get behind and you also just don't want to fail the first test. If you fail the first test, it doesn't give you as much wiggle room later on just in case you fail a test. How it works is you are allowed to have two retakes. If you fail the first test, then you get a retake. If you fail the retake, then you get sent home. And you get a retake for two different tests. You wanna to try to not use your retake right away because that way you'll have a little bit more room as training goes on, a little bit less pressure on yourself because you haven't used retake yet. You have to get a 90% on every single test for my airline. So if you don't get a 90%, you have to do a retake. The tests are multiple choice. You're not gonna have to write an essay or anything. They don't want you to fail. They want you to succeed. Your instructors are here to help you succeed. I've had a great experience with my instructors. They are so helpful, they are so kind. They are really good at what they do. They're just, you know, they are experts. You just need to trust your instructors. Now it's just starting to sink in that I'm actually here. At first, I didn't feel like I was here. I felt like I was in some time warp scenario where I wasn't actually here. And now I'm like, wow, I'm actually at flight attendant training. I guess overview of the first week, my tips would be make some friends. You can't get through this alone. It would be really hard and really lonely, in my opinion. Stay away from gossip. Everyone advises you to stay away from drama. So don't get involved. Don't talk about people behind their backs. You know, keep your opinions to yourself and you'll be good. Follow the rules with what to wear. You wear business attire during the weekdays. We're allowed to wear jeans and a nice sweater or a nice top on the weekends. If you just follow all the rules about your appearance, it'll just save you a conversation that you might not wanna have with one of your instructors or with your class manager. Make sure that you're turning in your assignments on time. All of those things will get you through the first week. I got through the first week and I was freaking out and I was so nervous and I was kind of sick and I wasn't getting that much sleep at first and I made it. I'm really excited to see what week two is going to bring. I'm a little nervous but I'm also excited. Just shoot me a message on Instagram. I will put it up here on the screen. If you have any more questions and if I can answer them, I will answer them for you. Welcome to Hell Week, everybody. Sorry, I haven't been filming at all. It's been pretty crazy and the longest days of my life. Celsius, sponsor me. A dream. It's been the longest days this week, the two hardest tests this week. We've had homework, we've had drills to do. It's not really catch up time right now. I just wanted to say hello because it's already the middle of the week and I haven't talked to y'all. I'm gonna go study because I can't fail this test. Good morning, everybody. It is 5 a.m. and we are headed to our first OE. All right, we made it to the airport. We are leaving in about an hour and a half, so we have a little bit of time, so we went to Starbucks. This is my partner, Sierra. They do two people on each OE flight. So someone does first class and someone does main cabin and then they switch on the way back. So we are flying to New Jersey. I think it's like a three and a half hour flight. So we're gonna be gone all day. All right, we made it to Newark and we had the coolest crew ever. They were awesome, like. <laughs> Got 10 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, had all been flying for like four to like eight years, but they were all still pretty young. So they kind of gave us, you know, advice, gave us a lowdown on everything and it was just really fun like they were really fun crews. so now we are just waiting to board our flight is just four to six minutes but the crew's not here yet <laughs> i'm like yelling right now no. <laughs> it's like super cloudy outside so we will see how the weather is on the way back i feel like it's gonna be kind of turbulent we were got really lucky the uh flight here was like really smooth i worked in first class here i worked in main cabin so now we're switching on the way back so I will see y'all when we get back to Dallas. All right, we made it back to Dallas. And we got so lucky, <laughs> we had another awesome crew. So we had a great flight there and back. We got so lucky, we had the best day. Best first time we, we're, we're basically five minutes now, so. Just one more OE to go and we'll be there. 
She killed she it. She killed it. <laughs> Sierra was the flight attendant before this, so she knows like everything. She was a master first classer. <laughs> and I was in main cabin like, because I was just doing a biscoff cookie. <laughs> Okay, well it's the next day and I am back from my OE, but I just wanted to show you all who's here. I picked up Alex on Tuesday, it's now Thursday, so he's actually been here staying in downtown Dallas for the past two nights. And he's here tonight as well, and then he leaves tomorrow morning because I had Tuesday have, off and then and I have flew. had today off. <laughs> yeah, and, and I flew, flew yesterday. All day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so on Tuesday night we hung out with my friends, which was really fun. He got to meet them. And then Wednesday he flew all day. And then today you had the day off and, and we just pretty much hung off. out here. We hung out here and I did some homework and now we're going to eat some Mexican food. But I just wanted to say hi and also I wanted to show you this really cute necklace that he got me. It's a little <laughs> plain and he got me one in silver and he got me one in gold because I did, couldn't decide which one I wanted. So, hey y'all, it is Saturday now and we just had a super short day. All that we did was go in do our drills for the triple seven, take our test for the triple seven, and then we got to go home. So a very short day. It was a really fun day after I passed the test. Before that, it was like a stressful day. I passed my test. Actually, everybody passed their test, which is like the first time that that's happened the whole time that we've been here. Unfortunate, but like that is the reality of it. So that was exciting. They like played music for us and celebrated and everything. And it is only noon and I'm already home. So, really not too bad of a day. Started at 6 a.m. though. I am pretty tired. So, I'm going to go take a nap. Hey everyone! It is week six, actually. It's Sunday and I graduate on Tuesday. I just had my second OV. It was really good. We just flew to St. Louis and back. Now I get to hang out for the rest of the day, which is really nice. It's been kind of a long week, a lot of admin stuff. We only have one test and it is tomorrow. I'm not too worried about it. I mean now like knock on wood since I said that. I just have a little bit more homework to do, a couple more modules to finish up. And then we have a very long day on Monday doing more admin stuff. We get to be all together as a class, class 29. So that'll be fun. Then at night we have like a reception dinner kind of thing at the training center before graduation on Tuesday. Honestly this week has like flown by. It was like week three and then now it's week six. It like it all happened so fast. All right, y'all, I got up really early this morning. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go take a nap, but I just wanted to check in and let everyone know how it was going, so see you soon.